Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a cityscape inside of Google Slides. In order to do that, you're going to be going into your drive, click New, Slides, Blank Presentation. Now here you can have the layout where it's just blank, and you can change the page size it's on widescreen automatically but you can customize it I'm going to do 8.5 8.5 by 11 so it's just like your regular sheet of paper All right, I'm going to start off instead of it just being white I am going to add, add a shape for the whole background. Just take it all the way to the edge and then fill it. I'm going to use dark gray. In the example that I have, which is on this page, um, you can see there's like a short, short GIF, short video here showing the process that I'm about to show you here. Okay. So you're going to be looking at cityscapes, color families, forms, and space. So here's my background. I'm going to add another shape. You can always hit Control D to duplicate things. Saves you time. And I'm just going to take up about half the page or so. And this time I'm going to change the color to a gradient. I'm going to create a custom gradient. So right now it goes from like a gray, light gray to a darker gray. So I'm going to add another color. And notice how I chose it by clicking on it. See how it's blue? And I'm going to change it to maybe this light blue. So now it's light blue on top. And maybe in the middle. I want white and <clears throat> on the bottom excuse me maybe maybe I'll add green color something like that okay so now this shape has a gradient in it I could add another gradient down here if I want but I'm just gonna leave it in the meantime and so you can resize your shape however you want okay now I'm gonna add some of these 3D shapes. You can use regular 2D or 3D. So you got a cube here, or it says can, but that's like a cylinder. So I'm going to start with the cube. And if I'm going to make this like a cityscape, sorry, I'm going to make it more a little rectangular. Okay. You can also add color to this. If I want, I can use the same gradient as before. Or I can change it up to another custom gradient. You can also change the angle. So if I do 180, now it's got the colors on this side. Okay, or you can go through and add different colors. I'm going to add another one. Maybe I want this color to be black, this color to be, um, let's say red, this color to be yellow. So I'm going to kind of use like the warm colors. Actually, this color will be orange and this color will be yellow. Okay, so there's my building. Now I can hit Control D to duplicate and add a few of these buildings throughout my picture. There's too many. You can delete one. Now all these are about the same, same size. You can't manipulate um, their size by 
moving the uh, these blue dots so there could be some buildings that are a little taller some that are a little shorter some that are like thinner um, let me make that just a little bit thinner you can leave some space here in between to kind of show that illusion of space like that. Now if you wanted to manipulate the colors here you can also do that by going back into the fill color adding a gradient. Maybe you want to remove one of those colors like let me remove um, maybe the orange That still looks pretty similar. Maybe you want to have more red in there. Or if you wanted to have more black in there, you can as well. So it's kind of darker over here. You can kind of play with the light that way. up to you how you want to create that. Anyway, so this is a good way to um, create digital work inside of Google Slides. Now the reason we're doing it in slides is because you can then create uh, an animation in slides. I'll show you guys how to do that on the next video. Let me make this a little different. There we go. Now if you wanted to add some more, more elements down here at the bottom, you can do that as well. Okay, so here I'm going to be adding another shape. I'm going to create like a street on the bottom. This will be kind of flat. And notice it just remembers what you had before. So I'm actually going to make this gray color. Looks like it's still. Oh, I'm sorry. I was still in the gradient. Well, I kind of like the way that looks, so I'll just leave it like that. Or you can do a solid color. Either way. Let's do a little bit lighter. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is... This is going to be like a, a road. And you can also create lines. Sorry. Uh, there we go. So there's my line. Let's say I make it like this. A little bit further away. And you can change the width and the color. Okay, so this is going to be like a road. And on the next project I'm going to be adding some objects that are going to be moving across the road or maybe jumping up here. And I'll show you that in the next video. Thank you very much. Okay, so I decided to add just a little bit more to this same video. Notice how I created a car out of some of the geometric shapes. I'm going to do one more just to show you how easy it is. Start off with a rectangle and this time this will be a truck and then uh, I'll do just some circles for the wheels. You can always hit Control D to duplicate it. And you can use the polyline tool to create the top. Each time I click, it's going to create a little area so I can manipulate it, just like in Google Drawings. Now to make the tires a little bit wider, go here to the border weight. You can put it up to 12. 
the same thing here, 12. Now notice I'm doing this over here on the gray, air, uh, gray area. <coughs> that way um, I don't have to mess with anything over here. I can go through and change the color. Notice I'm using some cool colors for this area. Remember you can always change the width. Do the same thing here. I'm going to fill it with light blue and the border can be the same color or you can change it up. Now what's nice is once it's here, you can select it and do a right click and say group. That way it'll move all together. Okay. So I'm going to put these cars here. And this is going to be helping out, or this is going to be up with the next video. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick how to create these. Now if you want to edit them, you can always move them aside. And I'm thinking, there we go, just make it a little bit, the outline a little bit better. And put it back over here. So I'm going to be moving these cars in my next video. That'll be the second project that you guys can choose, the stop, stop motion animation. Okay, we also needed to add the windows to the front of these buildings. So you're going to go to Insert, Table, and let's just say we'll do 2x4, so I can move the table to the first building. Make sure that you're choosing the outside of the table, because there's like an area on the inside, and then an area like on the outside. So I'm going to grab it, bring it down. So that'll be the windows for this. You can change the border color. You can also change the border, uh, the width. Okay, so you can add that. Now you could go and do that to all, all these as well. Or you can. Do control D to duplicate them and then just adjust them or you can add different you know more windows on each one just like that Bring these all the way to the bottom, to ground level. Just like that. You can always take them to the edge. There we go. Now if you wanted to have um, more windows here, you could just delete that one. Then you can do it again. Maybe you want three by six. And just adjust it to the width of this building. Just like that. Change it to the color that you want. Oops, see that one? I just did this one particular part of the table. And you actually want to select all of it. Oops. There we go. Just like that. You can always just adjust things so that it fits just right. <coughs> 